Hi there! Today we're diving into CICD best practices. Whether you're just getting started or looking to refine your approach, these tips will help you make the most of continuous integration, delivery, and deployment. So let's get into it. First up, commit early and often. Continuous integration works best when you share your changes frequently. This triggers automated tests that provide rapid feedback, helping you catch and fix bugs early. Aim for small, manageable commits at least once a day. And remember, a culture of collaboration, not judgment, makes this practice much easier for everyone. Next, keep your builds green. A constantly releasable code base means you can roll out fixes quickly when needed. If something breaks, the entire team should step in and solve problems together. No blame games, just collaboration. Now, let's talk about testing. Automated testing is key, but it doesn't mean you have to test everything all at once. Start with quick, focused tests like unit tests, then move to more complex ones. Running tests in parallel can also save time. And when it comes to manual QA, save it for high-level, high-risk areas after automated tests pass. Now, about your test environments. Keep them clean. Refreshing environments between pipeline runs avoids configuration drift ensuring reliable results. Using containers or virtual machines can make this process quick and scalable. Bonus tip, script the setup and tear down of environments for even greater efficiency. Security matters in CI-CD. Protect your version control system with multi-factor authentication, securely store credentials, and regularly check third-party dependencies for vulnerabilities. And remember, the principle of least privilege is your best friend here. It minimizes damage if something goes wrong. Once you've built a reliable CI-CD pipeline, stick to it. Skipping steps might seem like a shortcut, but it often introduces bugs and delays. Instead, take these moments to review and improve the process so it works better for everyone. And finally, don't forget to monitor and measure. Keep an eye on metrics like build frequency, deployment speed, and test coverage. Use this data to refine your process and improve efficiency over time. By following these CI-CD best practices, you'll accelerate delivery, improve code quality, and create a more collaborative team culture. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll be sharing more DevOps tips later on. Stay tuned.